It's 1966, and the Cold War and arms race is in full swing. Allied nations are looking for ways to get satellites into space for lower costs and in higher numbers. What better way than a space cannon? Hi, I'm Bill Berry, and welcome to my desert adventures. During these hot summer months, I use Google Earth to search for new adventure locations in the desert southwest. During one of my sessions, I discovered a space cannon located on the top secret Yuma Proving Grounds. The cannon is a remnant of the High Altitude Research Project, which began as a collaboration between the United States and Canada in the 1960s. Just 16 miles from here are the Yuma Proving Grounds, home to a massive artillery piece known as the Harp Cannon. Although we can't get to the site due to its high security status, when I discovered it on Google Earth, I just had to figure out what it was used for. The High Altitude Research Project, or HARP, was an ambitious collaboration between the United States and Canada during the 1960s. The project aimed to explore launching objects into space using massive artillery cannons instead of traditional rockets. Central to this effort were the Martlet launch vehicles, which were designed to withstand the extreme forces generated by these powerful guns. Harp cannons were strategically placed in various locations, from Barbados to Canada, and right here outside of Yuma, Arizona. The Yuma Proving Grounds cannon is particularly notable. It's where, on November 18, 1966, the Martlet II vehicle was launched to a world record altitude of 180 kilometers. The Martlet launch vehicles were a series of designs developed specifically for the HARP project. These vehicles were instrumental in gathering data on high altitude atmospheric conditions, projectile dynamics, and potential new methods for launching objects into space. The research conducted through HARP provided valuable insights into the upper atmosphere, reentry physics, and material science. These findings contributed to the advancement in both military technology and space exploration, influencing the development of new aerospace technologies. The driving force behind the HARP project was a brilliant Canadian engineer named Gerald Bull. With a visionary approach to artillery and space exploration, Bull's innovative thinking and determination pushed the boundaries of what was thought to be possible. Sadly, his later involvement in international arms deals with Saddam Hussein led to his assassination in Belgium in 1990 by Israel's Institute for Intelligence and Special Operations, popularly known as Mossad. Despite the controversy, his contributions to aerospace research are undeniable and have left a lasting impact. HARP was a product of its times, born out of the intense innovation and the competition of the Cold War arms race. It represents how the drive for technological superiority can lead to unexpected breakthroughs. Though the project did not lead to manned spaceflight, it was an important step in exploring alternative methods for reaching space pushing boundaries of what was possible during that era. The High Altitude Research Project and the Yuma Proving Grounds Cannon are more than just relics of the past. They're symbols of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's incredible to think that just 16 miles from here, engineers were setting records and exploring new frontiers. Thanks for joining me on this desert adventure.